Your wholesaling superpowers. Do you know what they are? Guys, it's Rick in here with Flip with Rick, and you know what to do. Before we get into it, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. What are your wholesaling superpowers? And you're probably saying, dude, Rick, I just got started in the business, or I'm only three months into it, maybe you're only six months into it. Are you a wholesale flipper? Guys, it's Rick in here with Flip with Rick. You know the drill. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button to continue to receive the absolute best free information on wholesaling available on the internet. Guru free. So let's talk about it. Are you a wholesale flipper? Well, Rick, uh, I'm a wholesaler. I flip properties. No, no, no. Here's what I mean. Do you wholesale and flip at the same time? If you do, you're doing it wrong. And let me explain why. Let me lay out a scenario. You just got a great deal under contract. It's through your marketing efforts. You got like a wholesale price. It's phenomenal. It's a great deal. House needs some work. And you already know you got the profit built into it. And then you start having a conversation. Maybe it's a business partner. Maybe it's a realtor. Maybe it's your spouse. And go, you know what? We can make a lot more money. We could sell it for such a higher price if you just go in and fix all those problems with it. And then once you enter in that zone, you are in the flipper danger zone. You are no longer a wholesaler. You are now a flipper. And what that means is you start talking about great big plans. You get all excited and you start imagining all these profit numbers in your head. And here's what I'm going to tell you. I've been through this so many times, guys, and I'm telling you, nine times out of 10, if you just wholesale the property or even a wholetail it, okay? Wholetailing to me is not really flipping. You will make more money, you will keep your sanity, and you will be so much happier in this business than you can ever imagine. This is 19 years experience. Let me roll you through when you decide to do turn a wholesale into what we call a fix and flip. And I'm going to show you why this is a problem. It's actually, in my opinion, it's like a virus. It spreads. All of a sudden, he's flipping, she's flipping. We all got the flipping bug. We're going to make so much more money. And you don't realize you just created a job for an unknown outcome, which is not why we got in this business. So let me give you an example. I'm going to run you through some bullet points of what it takes to do a fix and flip and why, as a wholesaler, you want to avoid this like the play. Let's dive in. Number one is you're entering into the unknown. So when we wholesale a deal, say I got a property under contract for 80,000 and I can sell it to another investor or even a cash buyer in the end for say 100, even 110,000, I know I'm gonna make between 20 and 30,000. I know I'm probably gonna get paid in 10 to 14 days and I have zero closing costs I don't lift a hammer. I might have to show a client or two and I deal with a lockbox. That's my level of work. My work went into my marketing plan, getting a marketing medium to get that seller to call me and negotiating the contract and meeting with them. That's what wholesalers do. We're marketing experts and we're ninjas in helping sellers out sell their property and find creative solutions for them. Once you leave that arena and you decide you want to do the fix and flip, you're in the unknown world because I have never, ever, 100% of the time had a flip work out exactly what I planned for, for total cost and time for the renovations. Never, guys, 19 years. And I've had a partner that is a contractor and we still always went over budget over time because let's face it, it is an unknown and you're entering into an unknown. You have no idea of what's behind those walls when you open them up. Maybe you just watch too many HGTV shows on flipping. Do you know that if you walk into any doctor's office, almost every one of the channels are set by HGTV? Why is that? People love the thought of renovating houses and it becomes like this d disease. I first, I call it a virus, call it a disease. I first noticed this with anybody who went through a fortune builders course. They had to rehab everything because these guys wind up on HGTV and, and I guess it's in part of their, their flipping Bible, whatever you want to call it. And it is the wrong way to do stuff, it is the fastest way to get you out of the wholesaling business. You're entering the unknown, 
You have no idea how much it's going to cost. You can forecast it, but you're not a contractor last I checked. Now you got to hire a contractor. Do you have experience hiring a contractor? Have you worked with contractors? Contractors is a job in itself. You have to understand what it costs to do a job, the time frame it takes, how to pay them, then make sure you don't get screwed and how to actually have them be honest with you. Mr. Rick, I can fix it up for 30 grand, no problem. Four weeks into it, Mr. Rick, we open up that wall and we got some rot and we find out that wall's load bearing. So we're gonna have to put, uh, run another beam. It's gonna be an extra $15,000. And we've just started in week four. So we went from 20 to 35,000. And really by adding a beam, we didn't add any more value to the house. You're already fixing an existing problem you didn't even know about. And if you wholesale it, the end buyer is going to buy that problem. But if you don't know about it and you sold it at a discount anyways, then you're, that's not your business. Once you get into rehab, you have to own every flaw in the house and you have to make it right because now you're liable for anything that goes on with it. We talked about time. Everybody thinks they can get everything done. The average flipped property is six to nine months, if not more. That is a long time, guys. I could never, uh, on wholesale deals, you should be in and out the day you contract it to the day you sell it, no more than 90 days, period. Wholesale means the only type of rehab you're gonna do is maybe some flooring, maybe some appliances, coat of paint, and a pressure washer. All my favorite tools, by the way, for uh, wholesale. When you get into a full fix and flip, now you're, you've entered the unknown, you have no idea the cost. It just gets exhausting and it wears on you. If you don't know how much time it's gonna take, you have no idea how to build a budget for a fix and flip because you haven't done this before, then let's talk about capital requirements. How are you gonna fund it? You're gonna use hard money? You're gonna tie up soft money? That soft money you could be using towards wholesale deals that you can just constantly burn through and keep turning the properties over. When you do a fix and flip, you do not have that ability. You are married to the project till it's done. And guess what? What if there's a market shift? What if there's a sudden glut of properties on the market six or nine months or a year down the road and you and your partner didn't foresee that? You can't even control that part of it. And that's one of the reasons I hate on the fix and flipping. Keep in mind, now we talk about capital requirements. I guarantee you're gonna have two sets of closing costs. And even though you bought the property right, when you go to do your second closing, you get a significantly higher number. The state dock stamps are gonna cost a heck of a lot more. You're gonna to have to have insurance on holding on the property. If you're in Florida, you gotta deal with hurricane season, which is a nightmare in itself. We can't take the risk. And guess what? When you get that double price, guess what you're gonna pay? You have to pay the full real estate commission. You know why? Because to get full price on a property, the client needs the whole dog and pony show. And if you think you can get around it without it, you're gonna have even longer holding costs. And then the carrying costs, like financing and holding all this money, it's going to eat in your profits. I'll give you on being a wholesaling flipper is if you are an experienced contractor and you know what you're taking on, you know what goes into these projects, then just cherry pick the right one to make it work. Or if your business partner is a highly qualified experienced contractor and you cherry pick the properties you wanna do, go for it. It will get you out of this business faster than any other way I know. That doesn't exclude you from getting, picking up properties subject to cash flowing them on rentals, stuff like that. That's a whole nother game. But when you get into the rehab game, I can tell you, man, like they always take longer. And in today's world, everything's taking longer. The, the, the cost of supplies has gone through the roof. You guys are seriously underestimating what this is gonna cost. Here's the reality of it is the secret to wholesaling is about getting to the net as fast as possible. And flipping does not help the net. So in flipping, all you do is drive up your holding cost, your building cost, your carrying cost, everything that goes with it, your closing cost, and although you get a higher sales price, it's typically gonna be offset by that stuff. So you know how I've done this? Here's what you do. If you ever flip a property and you go into full rehab, do an analysis of what it costs you to wholesale the property and see what the spread is. And if that spread is greater than like 30, 40% and you have someone experienced to help you with it, go for it. But very, very few times will it come to that because the reality is a lot of you guys lie about the numbers on your flips. You think you can get a job done for 20 grand and it's gonna cost you 40. There's so many things you miss. Once you start rehabbing these older homes that need issues, 
you got to change out the light sockets. You got to change out the uh, electrical plugs, the plates. Guys, the average house has like 60 outlets and paying an electrician or even yourself going through it, you're still looking at $20, $25 per each one. And that's just a minor expense. We're not talking about roofing, um, AC repairs, drywall, wood cost. I mean, you name it. Appliances cost a lot of money. It, it's just, I think you guys get the picture where I'm going with this. I do not wholesale and mix up flipping. Now, every now and then we cherry pick the right property, but I prefer to do wholesale. Hotel's a winner. So hotel only cost me about 30 more days and maybe five to seven grand. When you start doing flipping, it can be 50, 70. I've spent $300,000 on a flip and I've almost regretted every one of them. They take forever. They suck the life out of you. And guess what? It's a job. You have to report the work every day. I didn't get into this to, to like report to people for work on that. And you don't know what the final outcome is until it's done. Say, hey, Rick, you got to take risk to get ahead. That's not how you do it. Just do more wholesale deals. It'll minimize your risk, maximize your net, and make you a much more effective wholesaler. And that will give you ability for cash flow to buy the properties that cash flow. I've been there a long time ago, back in 2007, 8. I will never, ever go back there. And with everything going on in the world right now, I don't want you to wind up in there. Here's the good news is the reason you love wholesaling, I love wholesaling is as... as Trump would say, it's the art of the deal. I love doing the deal. I want you to do the deal, find a cash buyer for it, or even a retail buyer if you're doing a hotel. I want you to get so bored after that, you never want to rehab a property again. I like working on deals, and once the deal's done, I know how time-sucking a rehab is, and I want nothing to do with it. I want to get in, get out, and maximize my net. I earn the most amount of money with the least amount of work. Most people who wind up doing wholesale flipping, it winds up being an ego thing, and they keep they want to get the highest sell price. They usually wind up getting a little bit more than they would on a wholesale, but they get a six-month job in it, and they never value their own time. You as a wholesaler though, you value your time and that's how you're gonna avoid the wholesale flipping trap. And here, here's the good news is, I told you, wholesale flipping, it's like a virus and it spreads fast. Every, I'm gonna fix the property up, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, we're gonna make $100,000 and uh, I, we'll get paid in three months. That's not a business plan, guys. That's your ego talking, that's you trying to impress somebody else or somebody trying to walk you down the trap turning a wholesale into a flip property, and I'm telling you, it is a lose-lose proposition. It's actually suicide, in my opinion, because it's going to take you out of wholesaling, and it's gonna put you in the fix and flip business, and then you might have dreams to do an HGTV show. Guys, I'm just telling you, those guys are all full of crap. So we're all about busting the gurus here and not putting up with, with the, the BS numbers. This is how you get in trouble in wholesaling when you turn the flipping and you put your wholesaling business on the side. I'd rather see you flip four or five wholesale deals, take less money than to get into a full-blown rehab because then you've got carrying costs, you've got funding issues, and what's your time worth? Are you willing to report the work three to four times a day to see that the work's getting done on the property? And do you have the expertise and the skills to do it? I hate doing it, man. It's like, and I've done some big rehabs and they've never quite worked out the way I thought. And every time I say it, I will never do that again. I just don't want you to make the same mistake. Wholesale flipping, you know it's suicide. It is a dead man's walk. So I have the cure for it. Just stick to wholesaling. It works. Do wholesaling, find properties that create cash flow, either through a rental, maybe some soft money you have, maybe you do creative financing. That's fine. Green light that stuff all day, minimize your risk, create high cash flow, some passive income that you'll have to work for. It's not truly passive and use your wholesaling business to fund these other operations. You, you, wanna, you wanna fund another business, the money will come from like wholesaling. Just make sure you're getting a business that complements you and, and it serves your purpose. But man, guys, I, I see so many people trying to do the fix and flip game and it's like, it's an infection. And I have the cure for it. It's wholesaling. And I'm telling you, 19 years, every property I've decided to rehab, I would have been better off doing a wholesale or a simple wholesale saving my time, money, and energy, and not getting stressed out of it, and just focusing on marketing. That's what I want you to do. I have the cure for it. I'm gonna give it to you right here. It's wholesaling. Guys, what do you think? 
Have, have you walked down the, the aisle of being a wholesale flipper? And if you had, I would love to hear your experiences. But in like my 19 years, the best deals I ever did was wholesale with an occasional hotel mixed in between, depending on the, what the market's doing. Anytime we got into fix and flips, it just required so much time, so much money, so much energy. And here's the key with fix and flips. They are the absolute unknown. And by the way, when you start doing these, they become like the wholesaler's addiction. You got I gotta flip, I gotta flip. I know so many people do fix and flip. They make very little money, but they seem so busy and so important. And all we are is feeding their ego. And maybe they're trying to feed a guru business and saying, I bought a property for 50 and I sold it for 200, but he won't tell you he spent $170,000 fixing the property up, probably lost their money. Don't do that. That stuff is made for TV. There's a reason. There's an entire crew there. They're editing. My favorite is when they show you, here's what we bought it for. Here's what we rehabbed it for. They never show the amount of time it takes. They never show the true cost. You guys know there's multiple costs, multiple closings. You cannot build a business on fairy land numbers. This is my experience with wholesale flippers. I have the cure wholesaling guys. Tell me in the comments below what you think. Have you got stuck flipping a property? How did it work out for you? And are you going to concentrate on wholesaling to maximize your net? The faster you get to the net, the better you'll do in this business. The net doesn't mean putting in a ton of rehab costs, holding costs, and then getting a double sales price only to find out you made the same, if not less, than you were going to do on a wholesale or even a hotel deal. Guys, do me a favor, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button to continue to receive the absolute best free information on wholesaling available to you on the internet today. And tell me if I can save you from being a wholesale flipper. Guys, it's Rick Game with Flip with Rick. And I'll see you in the next video.